Are you lost? The upper district is closed, so you can turn right back around. Any chance of a friendlier attitude? No. Didn't you used to be a gate guard for the clerics? I was. But when the horde fell, I had to change tracks. As you can see, I kept my style. Just a few minor adjustments. In those days, I had to do some crooked shit to get shots. These days, I make money anytime someone fucks up. So if you're planning on stealing, fighting, or murdering, go for it. More money for me. Let me through. Not without a good reason. And I seriously doubt you have one. Uh... That's what I thought. Fuck off! Buddy, you aren't allowed to be here. Fuck off! Maybe this will convince you to let me through? Hmm. Okay. I'll pretend I didn't see you. This time. Go on. Do whatever it is you have to do. If I see you here again, I'm kicking you out. Go on, off you go. I never saw you. You can't keep your mouth shut. You're only so, are you in? I don't know, man. This doesn't feel right. You're a goddamn chicken shit. All you have to do is keep watch while I take out the target. And after that, when the job's done, you think we're just Got rolling it. out of here with pockets full of shards? Good to see you. You're obviously not an outlaw, so fuck off, got it? Why does it matter whether or not I'm an outlaw? Look, I got a deal going. I provide the outlaws with kit, and I get to sit on my ass up here without having to worry about getting robbed or whatever. And I'm sticking to that deal. So you'd sell me stuff if I was an outlaw? I'd sell you gear, weapons, and even teach you how to make your own kims. You figured that out pretty quick. I'm proud of you. But you're not an outlaw, so our business here is done. Don't worry about it. How could you be so stupid? I can't right now. You just keep see foot in the right. I'm staying out of this. Welcome to the nursery. What can I get you, hun? Hold on. This is the nursery? 
Yep. What were you expecting? Oh, wait. You didn't bump into Cricket, did you? Yes, we did. He wanted a donation for the nursery. Monster. I'm gonna have to change the name of this place one of these days because of him. You ain't the first he's pulled this on. If he ain't here yet, he's on his way. Do me a favor and punch him in his mouth. He keeps pulling that shit over and over. I'm up to here with it. I have to go out for a while. Nothing but boys behaving bad. And they only get worse as the night goes on. And it's up to me to set them straight. Sometimes I feel less like an innkeeper and more like their mom. Those boys are nothing but overgrown babies with guns. Hence the name. So, what'll it be? How about some milk? With the healthy shot of the hard stuff, of course. <laughs> Give me something to drink. The nursery has everything you need. Take your pick. If we don't put up some resistance, all is lost. Still don't get it, do you? Got it. Got it. Sure. Yeah, I heard that rumor too. No one wants to hear my opinion. Why do you always say that? You ripped me off, asshole. The nursery is a tavern. Calm down, man. No need to freak out. <laughs> well, I guess you uh, figured out my scheme, huh? <laughs> uh, this is what I'd call uh, a teachable moment. You learn from your mistakes. Now, fuck off! I want to drink away your hard-earned shards in peace. <laughs> I've never heard such nonsense. Look, just take the loss, man. I pulled one over on you and you totally fell for it. Now, let me get smashed in peace.
money back, and we can forget this ever happened. <laughs> Hell no! You parted with those shards of your own free will. You just pissed because you are an idiot. I mean, who'd be so fucking stupid to think we'd have an actual nursery here? <laughs> ah, now fuck off. Come on, what is this shit? Still don't get it, do you? Many of those cutthroats. Uh, that's too much for this one. Sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> Damn. I'll drink to that. No, no, no. You must have misheard. Got it. No matter what you say, I just don't feel like been that. Bugging me about it for days. Heard it took the whole truth. Well, he brought it on himself. <laughs> Stop listening for a second. I only fight on a full stomach. You can't keep your mouth shut. You're only gonna make me. Oh, well. I know who you're talking about. You ripped me off, asshole. The nursery's a tavern. Hey, hey, calm down, man. No need to freak out. <laughs> well, guess you uh, figured out my scheme, huh? <laughs> uh, this is what I'd call a, a teachable moment. You learn from your mistakes. Now, fuck off! I want to drink away your hard-earned shards in peace. <laughs> Look, just take the loss, man. I pulled one over on you, and you totally fell for it. Now, let me get smashed in peace. You'll get smashed by my fucking fist. Mm, those are some big boy words for someone obviously born yesterday. You really want some of this? Bring it on, asshole! Take it easy. Why do you always oh, say that? Bastard! I don't give a damn. There'll still be just as much work. He's been bugging me about it for days. Why do you always say that? I don't say. What do I think of it? It's better to keep that to myself. Yeah, I heard that rumor too. Well, can I have my shards back? Oh, yes! Shit! Fuck, man! Oh! Yeah, you really don't pull your punches. It's just a few shards, man. Shit, if they mean that much to you, take what I got. Just stop hitting me. Deal. Well, now I guess I'm done drinking since you cleaned me out. Thanks for nothing, you dill hole. Nothing is certain. Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, and I heard they got into a bust. Oh, dude, man, you saw The enemy is coming. Whatever. Figure. Wow, you really beat the shit out of Cricket. Mind you, I'm not complaining. Maybe now that Bump can stop dragging my tavern down with his shit. Have one on the house.
I'll drink to that. Can't do anything. Who more. cares about your opinion? Huh? Never seen that before. I figured as much. Nah, that's too much for this one. Apparently, the whole harvest arrived. It'll be fine. Trust me. Ask me, would have never had. Those beasts out there are getting dangerously close. No, no, you must have misheard. I don't know either. I <laughs> figured as much. Yeah, I can say so. I want to ask him if this is a man. Better that I recruit the fighters for the sixth power and not anyone else. Jax? I don't fucking believe it. Never thought I'd run into you here. I never see you again. I know. Back then, I said we wanted to cross the mountains, start a new life. But 
As you can see, we didn't make it very fucking far. How the hell did she wind up working with the outlaws? Well, the Claws always had a big expansion plan. We wanted to build a society from the ground up. A place without war. Thought it might be easier to get settled in the lands beyond the mountains. But we stopped here to rest, and our guide fucked off. Never came back. Without him, we didn't know how to cross the mountains without dying. So we got stuck here. One thing led to another, and here I am at the top of the heap. Life sure is fucking funny sometimes, huh? <laughs> As a member of the Claws, you must be able to teach me something about being a pickpocket. Sure. What do you want to know? Totally cold. I feel sorry for her. Don't listen to that stupid shit. Healing potion or moonshine? Whatever piss you're looking for, I'll give you a good price. Anyone who talks about his wares that way can't be very trustworthy. Let's go, Jax. Hey, don't talk about me like I'm not here. Fucking hate that. Now, are you gonna buy something or not? How's business? Good, good. Anyone who makes it all the way here usually needs a stiff drink ASAP. The shelves are fully stocked and the distillery is pissing out more than my bladder. Now and again, I teach what I know to someone who stops by. That brings in a few shards too.
What do you have? Look around. Teach me anything? Sure, but it'll cost you. Good sip and all looks different. Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. If you head north, you won't be coming back. I'm staying out of this. Well, he brought it on himself. I heard things in a Bessa are dire. You're out of your mind. Not again. That place is full of reasons. Got it. You think so? I think you're full of shit. The beasts out there Got get it. dangerously close. I don't know either. Someone's got a problem with the way you do business. Give me that! You can't just wave that scrap of paper in front of me. Why? Is all the stuff written here not true? Cut the shit. Look, I tweaked my formula and my prices went back to normal, okay? No reason to exploit a simple misunderstanding. Just this once, and only because it's you. Don't breathe a word of this to nobody, got it? I don't need a bunch of assholes showing up tearing up my place. Don't worry, I know how to keep a secret. Good, I'm counting on it. Whoever's behind this needs to be stopped. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot. Very quiet. That's really annoying. Some guys just can't keep their mouth shut. I heard you threw them out. I really could care less. Still just as many of those cutthroats. These two are getting cocky. The enemy is coming. Whatever we do. We're gonna have to do something about it. Come on. Nothing to serve. That me totally cold. That creature yesterday almost tore my ass Lies off. The dirt all day long. <laughs> Rippy.
Not now. Later. The guys just can't keep their mouth shut. Unless you really have to. Stay away from the unknown ruins and caves. The bandits on the roads are the lesser evil. This is Herbert, broadcasting from the Orb. People of Magalon, stay clean. Alien substances are dangerous. Helix is just as bad for your body as chems and other alien substances. Why not enjoy some old canned food? Or a fresh stew instead. You're listening to Herbert, broadcasting from the Orbit. up some resistance, all is lost.
fucking dumb. It's the worst. What are you whining for? We got money, food, and a place to crash. You want to go back to roaming the woods? Not now. Not you now. You blind man? The mattresses are crawling with bedbugs, and you got some filthy animal snarling in your face if you make a wrong turn. So? Get your hands out of your pants and kill the fucking thing. What do you think your weapon's for? Yeah, you're right. See you around. Not right now. What are you doing here? I thought you were dead! I know you. You do? <laughs> Come on, Zakor. Wait, you're an alb? Shh, 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 shut up. And hey, takes one to know one, right? You're pretty tanned for a former alb, too. But uh, let's change the subject, huh? They uh, sent you to accompany me to the depot, right? No, and I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't? Oh, uh, well that's not good. Oh, then I guess I'll have to start from square one. But, but not here. These people are always listening. Like, always. It's safer outside the city, so, uh, follow me. Hey, uh, just out of curiosity, what do you think of this city? I like... my old hut better. I can imagine. The smell here? Ugh. Got it. Oh, you're 
They're still missing the camp. Got it. And I overlooked them. You again? I gave Damn. you 20% of my take just last week. Come Damn. now, Vicky. With the influx of strangers Damn. in the crater these days, danger can work behind every downer. It's more and more difficult to ensure the safety of you and your business from this tidal wave of potential criminals. This also means, unfortunately, the price for my protection services must increase. Supply and demand, you know. I don't believe that 800 Alexit is too much to ask, considering the wealth of some of your clientele. Not to mention the quality of protection you receive for it. That's more than half my take. You can't be serious. Listen to me, sweet. I'll see it slower this time. You pay the blade. The blade makes sure you're alive to make money next week. Blade can stop his protection at any time, if that's what you want. To be at the mercy of any number of unsavory types. Okay, okay. I'll pay up. Ah, uh, I knew you were smart the moment I laid eyes on you. I'll see you next week. So, how can I help you? I've got some new potions in stock. Feel free to take a look at the merchandise. I heard you talking with that Blade guy. He giving you trouble? Yeah. I was robbed a while back. Half of my goods were stolen. Next day, this guy shows up saying he'll protect me if I pay him. Everyone knows he's the one going around robbing people and killing off all the business. Then he shows up demanding payment for his so-called protection. That guy needs his ass kicked. <laughs> Tell me about it. All I could do is hire my own protection. But I can't afford that. Not with all the protection money I pay to Blade. I could take care of this Blade guy for you. Like I said, I can't pay anyone. Or are you planning on helping for free? What could you give me instead? And go without eating for a week? Huh. I could maybe give you 80. Can't do more. If that's enough for you, we have a deal. All right. I'll take care of this Blade guy. Thank you so much. I'll be glad when Blade finally stops this shit. Where can I find Blade? He struts around the city bullying people. You're bound to run into him sooner or later. What should I do with Blade? You want your money back? No. I just want him to leave me alone. But be careful messing with him. There's a reason people turn a blind eye to his business. It might not be good for much, but what he is good for is fight. What you got? Only the best here.
Honestly, what was that all about? Notice you there. So, uh, how can I help? If you're looking for information, you'd be better off sourcing it from some other place. I don't know my way around the Pushers District all that well. What are you doing here? I'd rather keep that to myself. You understand. Let's just focus on how I can help you. I have goods to trade. Why not take a look? Maybe you'll find something you can use. Yep. 
Laws don't give you any trouble? No. I'm under a kind of uh, special protection. It means I don't have to worry about suddenly being attacked or anything like that. I'm not saying I can take liberties, of course. I just put in a little effort to ensure I don't attract too much unwanted attention. But enough about that. You still want to buy something, right? If so, better do so before someone else does. Show me what you got. Gladly. Hundred shards a day, and there's a discount for a week or more. You bear the risk. You won't get compensation if there's an accident. Conditions understood. Now maybe tell me what they're for exactly. <sighs> I see I gotta start from the beginning with you. I'm the guy who's gonna make you invincible. Seems like a pretty big claim. I drink like a fish, smoke like a chimney, and my gun's got more dings than a ripper's got teeth. But I'm still here, still breathing. So, are we in business? Do you have a name? I prefer not to. A name is like blood. It just sticks to you and attracts vultures. One little slip up, and it's on someone's shit list. But your ass can't get sunburned if you stay in the shade. Pack your stuff. You're hired. I think there's been some sort of misunderstanding, brother. You handle the dirty work yourself, but I can show you how it's done. I'll train you and sell you enough stuff to survive out there more than a day. I've told you my daily and weekly rates, so have you got a deal? I doubt you can teach me anything new. Gotcha. You're in the business yourself. 
a pro, so to speak. Listen, pal, you can always learn. Might be cliche, but it's true. I'm sure I know a couple of tricks that could save your ass. And if not, hey, you've still got the goods. Teach me something. I knew I had something to show you. I'll take you there. What? That must smell? Lust, fear, greed, that whole reek, you know? It smells like humanity. I thought you were keeping a low profile. Spouting stuff like that is gonna get you noticed. Look at these meat sacks. They wouldn't notice their own murder. But if it's so important, model after all. My I... Blade has no time for bums like... <laughs> what? I called you a bum! <laughs> a vagabond, a hobo. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, bum? Considering giving you a good beating. Oh, you're either real dumb or real brave. Either way, get ready to die. That's just the price you pay. something. these meat sacks. They wouldn't notice their own murder. But if it's so important, I'll shut up. You're my role model after all. My ideal. Is that so? Oh, <laughs> 
and that would have been it. Now tell me what you actually want. You gave me no choice. Ah, I see. I provoked a gentleman. Shit. Let that be a lesson to me. I certainly won't do that again. So now we're even. I want you to leave Vicky alone. Vicky? Vicky? Oh, oh, let me think. Um, oh, you mean that bitch who doesn't pay her debts? Yeah. Has she sent you here to threaten me or worse? I beat you once. The second time would be no less satisfying. Uh, actually, my jaw still hurts, so, you know, let's just give it a rest, huh? Whatever, I've got plenty of other sources of income. Vicky's money was just a drop in the ocean. If you don't need anything else, I'll be off. And if I see you again, it'll be too soon. Maybe you should tell me who you are. They call me Blade, because I cut up people. Ask too many stupid questions. So, what are you doing here? <laughs> Isn't it obvious I'm patrolling my territory? So, if you don't have any levy to pay me, get the fuck out of here. I hope that you're going to leave Vicky alone now. Oh, shit. Yes, yes. <laughs> Blade admits defeat. Oh, that was a damn good beating you gave me. In the future, I'll pass. Smart move. Very good. Blade won't be demanding any more protection money from you. You really did it. I owe you. As agreed, your payment. It's not much, but it's all I can spare right now. You're welcome. Pleasure doing business with you. If you're ever in the area and want to buy or sell something, you know where to find me. See you around. Thanks again. For everything. Well, yeah. I don't have to like it. <laughs> 